Okay, I'm hoping I can put this together. Um, and I'm trying to figure out where I need to angle this so y'all can see this because I'm not going to be able to see it. But I think that the lighting is better this way. All right, this is supposed to be for like a keychain set. This was 89 cents, y'all. It came with five of the gold little beaded chains and six, I mean five of the, the silver. And for 89 cents, that was well worth it. I didn't have any this size. And I like the edges on these. And I like the thickness of them. That was a really good buy for 89 cents. And see, so you can see these much better. And I can actually do this. Yeah. So I can control the camera a lot better this way if I can see what I'm doing. So I'm standing up, actually. So you can see this better. Do this. I'm hoping this won't be upside down. I may have to turn it. There's quite a few of them in here. This has got a lot of little things in it. I got those. I don't know if I'm going to like them or not. These are uh, earring posts, and they're supposed to be red bows. Oh, those are actually quite cute. I don't know how good... I don't know how good these are going to be, though. I can't get... Oh, they already broke. Okay. Do you see that? I was just trying to get that thing off, and it broke. Hmm. Oh, that one didn't break. These are definitely going to be cheap earring backs, but I thought they would be cute for Valentine's. But if nothing else, I can take that off and use them inside something. I paid, I think, 79 cents for these. But they are not good quality. I'm going to tell you right up front. And there's 10 pieces. And I know I do still have this. Um, zoomed in. Because I know that I'm going to be showing you. Okay, these are cute. Now, these are supposed to be stainless steel. And now, those are cute. These are resin hearts. I already made on a post with the hole. So, these, these are adorable right here.
and I'm okay with stainless steel. Now, if it says metal alloy, I'm not okay with that for earring uh, findings. Not something that's going to go in your ears anyway. And there's 20 in here. Oh, I got more. Oh, wow. I must have really thought I was going to like these. They're all pink. I got three packs of them. And then here's another pack of the, the red bows. Metal. And these are metal. And I got bigger ones. Well, they're supposed to be bigger. They don't look any bigger. Remember the, the last haul I did? I got some of these and they were way too tiny. So I went back and ordered more. But and I ordered the a bigger size, but these are the same silly size. They all are. Yeah, this is this is eight, and the last ones I got were six, and these are the same exact sizes. That's that's just wild right there. Well, y'all be careful when you do that because that is definitely not eight. That that is not an eight. The ones I got before were sixes, and I thought they were awfully small for sixes. But these are the same size, and they've got them under eight, so I wouldn't order those. There's some more of them. But they're very, very tiny, you can see. Oh, this is the, the mold. I've got the big one like this, but this is a key ring. It's a frog. Let me get my blackboard out. See the frog? It's a frog on the lily pad, but it's like a key ring size. And it's already got the ring where that I like. That's just cute as it can be. And I can do UV resin on that quite easily. I can do accents and then pour the rest of it with epoxy. That's going to be fun to do. Oh, wow, this is T90. <laughs> this is a lot smaller than I thought it was. Which, this would be really good with the nail art, I guess. And this is the holographic. Yeah, you can see the holographic coming really clear through there. And that sort of tells you how big the heart is compared to my finger. So these these are tiny. But let's see. Let's see if some of this nail art. Oh yeah, see you can get that love. Can you see that? Yeah, you can get that love in the heart. You can get some of these in that heart, but not all of them. Let's try this stuff and see. Some of it would, but these are a lot smaller than I thought they were. Okay. 
And of course, I am already thinking about Easter and springtime. This is 49 cents. It's a little bunny bookmark. And then this is one of those really good molds. Okay, we're going to do it that way. I want you to be able to see. Let me unzoom for just a minute. So you can see the full size of the mold. And then I'm going to bring it up so you can see how deep it is and how detailed it is. That is very, very, very detailed. Look at that one. I like this one a lot. And I like that one. I'm not quite sure what that is, actually. That one right there. I like this one. I like the majority of them, but I'm not sure what that is. And I don't know what that says. Right there. It's backwards. Okay, and that was it for that order. And now we will go on to this order. I don't think there's a whole lot in this. Oh, okay. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to just go ahead and pull it all out. This I got for my address. Uh... I'm planning on painting my uh, mailbox, and I thought this would look good on the mailbox. Uh, and it was on one of those lightning deals, so it was like, it was under a buck. And I would glue it on. Uh, there's a sticky. That's plastic. I don't know what that's there for. Yeah, that's sticky, but it's not even on the back, so... Oh, I guess you stick it to the back. Okay. I don't think that would work really well. I think I'm going to have to glue that directly on, too. Uh, but then you just... These letters are supposed to stick. And I did. I have like a little... I don't know if you can see that. You see the little thing sticking out? And they would stick. But I, I would glue it also. Because it's not it's not going down in there. Oh, it snaps in there. Okay. 
So I thought uh, the whole thing you had to get the extra had the separate numbers. And of course I got four numbers. And they had them for three numbers or four. But I thought I mean a total of three bucks for all of it was well worth it. So these are some clay cutters. These are not available right now. I went and looked. Um, and this has the, the heart cutter, which I don't really need. It wasn't, that wasn't the reason I bought this. Over so you can see it has the heart cutter, but then it has the embossed word love, and it's supposed to be in different patterns. And I hope you can see the the texture, the background texture is different on each one, and the word love. Is different on each one and so you would you would cut or what you would do is you would push that in your clay and and I'll show you this we'll do a sample of this real quick uh, after I show you everything else so you can see it it's real simple I also got this heart mold And this is not a real good quality mold, but it will work for what I need it for. That is on the outside. That is on that side. It is a very thin mold. But it works for what I wanted it for. So, And I paid less than a dollar for this. And then these right here are a lot bigger and heavier than what I thought they were. Once again, they're bows where you could put your earring hook there and then hang your earring there. But they're a heavier, bulkier metal. So unless you're going to add something really light, clay would work. Resin would make that earring way too heavy. Okay, that's an abalone shell. You know, see, that's the that's a pretty one right there. Which was seventy nine cents. Now the last ones I got didn't have much color at all. But this one's a good one. Okay. And the last thing is this mold. Let me blow it totally back out again so you can see the whole thing. This is for you to hang on your wall. Now they had several different ones. 
I got the moon face one. And the detail is definitely in there. Okay, so I'm going to assume this is for the back. Okay, we're going to do it like this. That is where you would hang it up from. Right there. This somehow is going to fit when you pour it on the back piece. Well, no. The shelves. The shelves are going to fit like this. That's for that one. So you're going to have a shelf there. You're going to have a shelf there. Then you're going to have a shelf down here. And then this piece will fit like that over the top of the shelves. And you can hang it on your wall. I thought it was a cool piece. And, and I think the price, I think I paid like $3.89 for it. It was an awfully cheap piece, a uh, price for this piece. It has several. It has one, two, three, four, five pieces to it. So we will be pouring that soon, and we'll find out uh, what that looks like. The dollar store finds it's not much. I bought a Sharpie because I use it a lot in my resin. I bought this paper. It's actually supposed to be this, but I got it to uh, to tear up and use in resin. It's like mar mylar paper. I got those. These are wooden pieces. But you can fill those with color. You can paint them. You can dye them. You can do so many things with it. And they normally don't have stuff like that, so I grabbed them. Magnets. I don't see those a lot there either. And I know I'm going to be making some uh, magnets soon, so I grabbed those. They had that. And I want to use this with the resin, so I don't care if I ruin it. I don't want to use my good one. Um... So I got a cheap X-Acto knife there. And then I need another spray bottle for my alcohol. The other one was getting sort of, uh, it needs to be replaced. So I just got that one for the alcohol for downstairs in my, where I pour my resin. And then I got this. I don't know how to use it yet. It's a pom-pom maker. Shows you just wrapping it around then you cut it and then you use the yarn to tie around the pom-pom maker I don't know if y'all have ever used one of those because for the the key rings I wanted I've got a slew of yarn and I wanted to make some pom-poms for my key rings what they look like y'all no I don't know hmm yep oh okay Why are they stuck together like that, though? And they're not even. Hmm. So do you do it around both of them? Okay. I'm not sure. I'll have to play around with it.
But that's what I got at the Dollar Tree. And then Salvation Army. Now this came in a box, but I took it out. I paid 89 cents for this. And it's a whole... It was brand new. It was not open. And, and it's just different type of cording. Some of it looks just real. I thought it looked cool in, in resin. Especially this one. The one that's got, it's like glitter with fine little fibers all over the place, which I don't even know if you can see this. See, look at the, the fine little fibers with the glitter. I think that would look cool in resin. But that's one of the things I got. And then I got these. I was not sure about these. I, I still don't know anything about them, but they're, quilt, they're for quilting. And they're to cover safety pins. Evidently, safety pins and quilting go hand in hand. I, I, I don't, I'm not a quilter. I don't, I don't know anything about quilting. Uh, but these are supposed to cover up the safety pin. It's called a safety pin grip cover. They were made in the USA. These are going to go uh, in my posh eBay and Macari store. <laughs> And then this, I have no idea what this is. Uh, I know it's from Ikea, and I have to tell you a story. Now, Rose was on the phone with me when I went to Salvation Army. We did like a Facebook video call where she could see everything I was seeing. Because um, the last time I was in there and I did a video, she said that I should have picked something up that I didn't. So I contacted her and I said, okay. I said, you want to do a, a Facebook call? So, you can tell me if I'm missing anything. And so, that's what we did. Uh, and we know what it shows on the back. We, we see that it shows you putting something on the little peg things here. And then you're taking an iron, I'm assuming, where you're melting it together. And then it shows, let me zoom in so you can see this a little bit. And then it shows them removing it and I have not I have not googled it yet I could probably google it but I wanted to show it to y'all and without y'all googling be honest tell me if you know what this is and put it in the comments uh, we do not know what that is I also got this. Now, the first thing that I thought of was one of those. Uh, what do you call that? What do you call those, honey? Mortar and pe pedestals? Pe pestles? That you scrape stuff with. Mortar and pestle. Pestle? Mortar and know. pestle. I, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. But you see I'm how really more than person, so I, I don't really know how to explain it. You see how shallow that is. But it it is glossed everywhere except for the inside of the top and the inside of the bowl, and it fits perfectly. And I'm sure that's what that is. And I went ahead and got it. But I thought, oh, wow, that would be wild if you could put a piece of clay in there, smoosh it and form it, and have your own little trinket bowl. <laughs> so, yes, that's how my mind works. So we're going to try this out, too, and see if it works for that purpose. And then I got these. Now, I'm always looking for stuff that I can use uh, for pads to absorb. Now, this was brand new. Uh, I paid a dollar for all these, and and I opened one up. Where is the one that I opened up in here? 
I did not know what they were when I was there. I think I've got it figured out now what they are. I can't find the one that I opened up. Uh, and if I can't, I'll open up another one. But I want to see if I can't find it before I do. Here it is. Okay. Okay. So it's sticky. It's sticky on that side, okay? But it's very, it's, it's like one of those uh, cotton pads on this side. And then I figured it out. I think I figured it out. I don't know. I'm going to tell you what I think it is. If y'all know what it is, you let me know. And uh, put it down in the comments. And that's okay. If I come out being really stupid here, I don't care. Because I, I don't have a clue really to what these are. I'm going to say there's something medical. Uh, because of the way that they're packaged. But I don't know. But it it shows okay this is how my mind logically is working if i think it's something medical and it's something to help absorb and there's no sticky right here and you would stick it on both sides this way then it would leave that part unstuck and looped up okay so I'm thinking maybe they're for people who have to have a port on so the port can run through, the cord can run through and, and it has an area where it's, it's not stuck down. Now I don't know if that's right or not. So if y'all know what these are, let me know. I'm going to be using them with my crafts only because I paid a dollar for all these and uh, it would cost me more than that to, to get enough swabs for cotton pads so and I actually thought that I could take one like when I'm working with something here I'll show you See, I've already stuck that thing back in. Oh, here it is. Where if I'm working with something where I'm constantly going to be having to clean off my brush, I can actually put it down where it's not going to move. And, and I can use it to wipe with. And then when I need to, Oh, okay. That does not... Oh, y'all. That does not remove very easily. Look at there. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really, really sticky. <laughs> really, really, really sticky. Oh, that's not coming off of there. And this is a dry erase board. So you would think... Oh, that's wild. This is sanitizer, y'all, if you're wondering what I'm putting on, trying to. Don't do that. I would have never thought that it would have stuck like that. It's a good thing that these boards are only a dollar and a quarter at the dollar tree. <laughs> Because I may have just ruined this board. Oh, it's not coming off. But if it's going to stick like that, would you want to put that in your skin? Oh my gosh, it's not coming off, y'all. I don't know if I'd want to put that on my skin or not. It's It's down there. Well, that's kind of sticky. I wish I had on the heat transfer paper. I got stuff on this anyway, so I guess I just need to get another one. 
but yeah, I'm going to rethink that because I can't see that going on skin sticking that securely to something that's got a finish to it. I mean, if it was poor, you know, porous and it had a, didn't have a slick finish to it, but this does. Wow, y'all. Okay. Well, so if you know what this, <laughs> if you know what that is, let me know. And oh, I always said we were going to do a little bit of clay, didn't I? Okay. I was not prepared to do this, but let me let me go get some clay. Okay, we have some clay, and I'm going to try to sit down. I need to keep it, like, right there. Okay. And this is the pearlescent, which is okay. The name of this clay, if you want to know... If I can find it now since I, uh, hmm, that's strange, it should be right there, and it's not. I don't know, y'all. The name's not on this, and that's just odd, odd, odd. But it looks like pearl white to me. But I'm not going to tell you that because I'm not sure because it is not... Uh, on the package. And I have put all my stuff up. Well, let's just see if I can use this to push on it. <laughs> I'm all about using whatever you've got available. And this was right in front of me, so... I just want to get it thin enough to put in my pasta machine so we can get this conditioned real quick. I was not planning on doing clay. I wasn't even sure what was in this order. But since we have cutters, I'm going to go ahead and condition my clay really well. Of course, I'm not going to show... Uh, the pasta machine... This shouldn't take long. This is pretty fresh clay. I do need to get it back on the one. This is really shiny. I'm basically just going to show you what the color cutter is going to look like. stand back up because I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me blow it in. No. <laughs> Let me blow it up. No. Let me zoom in. These are not good clay cutters, y'all. You see how blunt they are? 
you see the edge you see how blunt that should have a sharp edge and then a second layer to stop the cutter and you see that I don't know if you can see that but you can feel it that's going to leave an imprint on, on everything you do this is not a good cutter now it's cheap and you can fix it but there's better cutters out there y'all and I'm doing it backwards you probably should have done this first and then cut it out it would have been easier You can't hardly make out what that even says, but we know it says love, so we'll go with that. So if you did this first and then cut it out, you wouldn't have to be doing what I'm doing right now, trying to get it lined up. That's not too bad right there. I don't really see the texture on the clay though and I'm pushing it all the way down oh see that cut all the way through that okay we're gonna redo that again we're gonna redo that we're gonna give it one more chance you see all the... let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see what I'm talking about you see all the the raggedy edges all the way around here that should not that should not happen with a good cutter that should be smooth I mean there's a lot of bad cutters out there and a lot of people are used to bad cutters so they don't know the difference I'm just telling you starting out if you're gonna go to the expense of buying cutters you want to get good ones and they're going to cost you a little bit more at first, but in the long run, they're going to be saving you a lot of money. Because these cutters right here are not going to last long. Mm-mm. Now that's me pushing down very lightly. Mm -mm. See, it's cutting all the way through. And that tells me, see, these are printed too deep. They're printed too deep. Now you can make it work, but you can't push it in very far. And you're not going to get it real good but you can get it enough to highlight it. So, and I will show you if I can get this off of here. I don't have my tissue blade or anything out here. Uh, oh yeah, no. You see, you see how that, they cut it right, and yeah, which you can make work, you can, you can barely see what it says though, that's the thing, this is, this is not a good cutter. Let's see. Now you see that one did okay. Now these these edges, I mean you can smooth them out. But a good cutter is not going to have edges like that. A good cutter is going to look like that when you cut it. 
it's not going to have these raggedy edges on here. And this should be so smooth from just a simple cut and it's not. There's ridges in this and everything else. And there again it tells me that it's just not a very well made cutter. But you can fix it. You can smooth it out. It just, it's more work for y'all. But that's what that, and that's about the only good one out of the, the bunch. Uh, that one. That one works. Now see, see how soft it is? I can just use my hand and push it down and get it thin enough. So we're gonna try this little thing out too. I don't think this is enough clay though. I think I need another thing of clay. But that pushes it down pretty good, so. At least it allows me to get it in my pasta machine. I don't think I normally stand up and use my pasta machine. It's it's <laughs> it's sort of a weird feeling here. Okay, now I'm putting both the pieces together. Should be a little bit longer. Hold on just a minute. Let me get it just a little bit. Yeah, okay. Can y'all see that? Okay, this is what I'm doing. I don't know if it's going to work. But I'm going to press it down. Make sure it's straight and even. And I'm tearing. I'm just trying to get the the extra clay off the edges. Okay. I hope you can see this. I'm going to sit down. I've got to sit down for just a minute. Because I've got to see what I'm doing with the edges. And I'm going to put this whole thing 
in the oven and bake it. Then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Right now I'm taking the edges of the clay and I'm just smoothing it down. Making sure there's no air bubbles. And this. And I am I'm working the clay down. up over the lip of this. at an angle I'm using the uh, this piece right here as a guide Got that smoothed down pretty good. Let's see, that's where I hit it. And I actually, if I had something to imprint, I could actually imprint the outside. Uh, right now, which would be sort of cool to show you. I don't have anything. Is that firm enough? No, that's going to put the dots. I don't want the dots there. Don't think I have anything to imprint, so we'll just do this smooth. And I'm trying to Get that smoothed out enough. It doesn't have to be completely smooth. But you saw how easy that was, okay? I mean, that's, that's just pretty, pretty simple right here. Okay. And I'm going to just put it right back in here. And I'm going to bake it that way. I'm going to bake it in this thing. Right here. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and bake that too. And I will actually go ahead and bake that and I will come back. It will take about 40 minutes to bake, but I will come back and I will show you what it looks like baked. Okay, we are back. Now this is still warm. Uh, and I hope you can see this. Yeah, okay. 
So we're going to just grab the sides very lightly. Normally I would wait for this to cool down totally. <laughs> um, Because it would come off a whole lot easier. It came off pretty easy there. Okay, let me see if. There we go. Um, it's fairly thin, but it definitely you you could. There's water in this because yes, when. It first came out of the oven, and I do this to a lot of my clay pieces. Yeah, don't do this, but I'm going to take my shirt. I'm going to dry it off because I don't have a paper towel right here. Um, when it comes out of the oven, I drop them in cold water. And there is, you got a little bowl, I mean instantly. Now, if I had sandpaper here, I would show you. I would put a piece of sandpaper down, and I would put some water on the sandpaper, and then I would go like this on the edge, turned upside down, and I would go like this lightly to get that rough edge off. But there is so many things you could do. Now, this is something I did I was going to show you. But you could, you could put that right there and have a cute little trinket bowl without having to do anything else. But you could paint a design in there or you could put another layer of clay on the back. You could put what I did like on the butterfly. You could do a veneer layer that has got uh, texture or design on it on the back and on the inside. This is just like a shell. But that's how easy it is to do. And now this, this is bendable. This, this is bendable. But it's going to go right back to the shape that it was. Now, if you want it thicker, you can just keep adding layers and layers and just rebaking and putting liquid sculpey or the poly paste or the Kato liquid clear uh, or the Fimo. They all have their own brand. I prefer poly paste. Um, but Liquid Sculpey is more readily available, I think, and you can use that too. You just put a layer of Liquid Sculpey, very thin layer. You don't want it thick at all, very thin, just to make it tacky. And then you put your other layer of clay and bake it again. And then if you want to put another one, then you do the same thing, bake it again. You can keep adding on to this piece. Just bake it every time you add a piece to it. Um, these little hearts... I made these little hearts out of this little heart mold with clay while I was sitting here. I had some of the clay left. The smallest one right there. I just popped some clay in there and formed them and made a bunch of little hearts. Now these are raw. These have not been uh, baked. These can be added on. They can be added on to the bowl. Let me go ahead and just put them up. You could add them onto the bow like that. You could make a rim. Of course, you would need liquid Sculpey. And I hope you can see that. And you would just go all the way around. And of course, they're not stuck, so it's a little hard to show you. I'm just trying to give you some kind of idea on what you can do. And sort of give you an idea of what it would look like. Let me zoom in and see if you can see that a little bit better. So, and if you did that all the way around, that would be really cute. And it's, it does not take long at all. Or you could take, now this is one, this is not baked either. And this looks sort of puffy. But it is just that cutter I put clay and then I poofed it in to the cutter and then cut it out and if you bake it like that it's going to stay that way and then you could also add 
you could add a couple of hearts this way. There's just so much that you could do. You could layer them. They could be different colors. You could put little green leaves and make them look like heart flowers. It's just whatever your imagination can come up with. Oop. So, that's a yes on the mortar piece. And I will be playing around with that. Uh, I will be doing a lot more to this, but it gives you the base to work with. I also, when I was waiting, I went ahead and did this. Now, that's one of my re little resin hearts that I made. And, and you saw that. And yes, you can put UV resin in when you're baking clay. You can. I do it all the time. I also took the metallic watercolors and filled that in. And I just sort of put a brush in and then took a paper towel and wiped it off. Now, it's not very, it's not very detailed. But you can go back over it. And I'm going to show you the difference. Let me zoom back out again so you can see. And I am standing up. And I'm not trying to be in the lines, okay? I'm just trying to get it down in there. And I don't have a paper towel. Hold on a minute, y'all. It appears one. Okay. And then I just take a paper towel and I wipe it off. That's how easy it is. Now with Liquid Sculpey, and I'm going to show you this, because you didn't get to see the last one that I did. And I have to get my hand Liquid Sculpey. I got a bunch of it. And I'm going to get the red Liquid Sculpey out. And yes, I'm going to have to bake this again. What color is this? It looks good enough. It's not that deep. Not this one, but this is more of a purplish red. Goodness, I cannot see the... That is insanity. I cannot read the color. Okay. It's more of a pinkish, it's more of an orangish red. We're going to use this one. And normally I would take it out and mix it up, but I just did this the other day. So we're just going to put some on here. And you can see, I'm not being careful about how I'm putting on. And I'm just getting an old brush I don't care anything about. And I'm, I'm going to try to get that liquid sculpey down in there. And I'll probably have to put more of it on here because it's not going down in there good. And this is pretty deep. Let's see if that works. I 
Okay. I'm getting a little hand sanitizer because I don't want that paint on there if I can. It's not going to let me get that pink off. I don't want that pink on the white. And it shouldn't be absorbing into it. Okay. Don't do as I do. <laughs> you should have you should have sealed it and and I knew that. You should have sealed it before. So I haven't done clay in a while. But I know that and see I can try to get it off and, and I could I could sand it off okay but you shouldn't have to if you'd sealed this prior to doing this then you wouldn't have had that on there and it's a real easy way you have to bake that again but I don't know where my sandpaper is or I'd show you uh, I'd show you how to do the uh, sanding really quick. Uh, let's see if I've got a a file somewhere. Got a nail file I can show you too real quick. I should be able to do it with this. I should. Now, I don't know how good this nail file is. It's from one of those Timu. Uh, but you can see how it's coming off. Where it's hitting it. This is not a real good... Let me get it down. And I don't know if y'all can see this or not. And this really should be wet. And I'm not going to do the whole thing because a regular piece of sandpaper would do this so easily. Uh, but I'll show you how you can tell because uh, where the file is, the file is just, you can't round it off. So But you can see here that it's coming off. <laughs> and the whole thing would come off. And it would be so clear. And it, and it should not be that, that big of a deal trying to get it off. But I'm trying to use a dilapidated uh, mini file that came from Timu. That's not a good fingernail file to begin with. Uh, to... to <laughs> <laughs> to sand this off and I can't even get to the area but it sands right off if you have sandpaper the right tools the right tools are wonderful and this definitely is not the right tool I can't get it down where I need to, to get it but that is another way of doing uh, filling in. And it works really well. And that's going to have to be baked. But I'm not going to bake that until I get the rest of that off of there. Now this is very slight. But you can still see it. Now that's paint. So it does not have to be baked again. These right here are just plain. I didn't do anything to them. And the reason why I didn't do anything to them is we're going to try this. Now, I don't know. I have not had much luck. I'm going to get those out. I did put these in. I wanted to see what these look like. This is just the, uh, the Light Wish uh, colored resin, the pink. And this is supposed to be the holographic 
and I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's definitely holographic. Oh, look at my fingers. Oh, my fingers are horrible. Let me get a bunch out. I'll put them in here. And then I'll show them to you. Does that have stuff on the edges? The good thing about this UV resin, too, is the overflow comes off so easily. And this is a quick way of making earrings right here, that's for sure. It didn't take me no time. I did put the resin in the, uh, the little... What do you call those things? Syringes. I hope you can see. I hope you can catch the light. And they are definitely holographic. And they're just as cute as they can be. And that is just a really, really, really easy, fast way of making uh, hard earrings. And you see how many I have. I mean, I could pop them all out. It took me five minutes to, to pour the, the resin in the syringe, and I'll show you the syringe, and, and then it took me another five minutes to cure them. And then I'd have to put the jump ring on. And uh, I did make a mistake. I got this too close to the UV lamp. I probably ruined this ranch because I got it. <laughs> I got it too close to the UV lamp, and this resin cures so well. That it may be stuck inside there. I may not be able to reuse this one again. Because look. Yeah. I may have ruined this syringe. Because the UV resin is cured inside of it. Well that just bites. So don't do the same thing I did. Make sure that your syringe. Is away from your UV lamp far enough away. I'll try soaking it, but I, uh, that's probably a, a useless syringe now. Okay, what we're going to try doing, now I've had these for years, and when I say years, I mean years I've had these. Um, and I have probably three times more downstairs. Nail foil. Oh, there's sandpaper. Oh, nope, that's more nail foil. Okay. I have bags of it. It's everywhere. Uh, when I first got into clay, about three, four, five years ago, maybe five years ago, um, I went out and I bought all this stuff thinking, woohoo, I could never get this stuff to work. Not for nothing. And I tried all the different techniques. I tried the nail foil glue. I tried, no, I mean, I, I bought everything everybody told, uh, told me on YouTube and, and groups and nothing worked for me. Nothing. I don't know if this is going to work for me. I may not be, uh, you know, maybe I'm not supposed to do this. I don't know. But we're fixing to find out. I've watched somebody put UV resin and then while the UV resin is still uh, not cured, you put it up underneath the UV light. And then you cure it. And when you take it out, that stuff just pulls off. Well, I've seen it done on YouTube. 
many, many times. So we're going to do it tonight. And if I can't get it to work this time, I will be cutting all this na nail foil up and I will be putting it inside resin. <laughs> And since this is a heart, we're going to do one of them in that color. I have so much of this, y'all. I mean, I, look at that. That's pretty. Oh, my. I have it everywhere. Which one was it now? See, now I don't know. It was that one, right? That does not look as pretty, though. Hmm. You see how it changes when it's on there? I don't know. I don't want that. So I'm going to change my mind. We're not using this. It's too thin. I don't like the... I'm going to use some wild colors. Hmm. Yeah, let's use those colors. But the same. We'll use that one and that one. And then I'm going to try the black lace on one. Okay. I'll put this up in a minute. Okay. Now this is going to have to have another strip down on the bottom. So I'm going to cut it. Seriously? Oh my. I'm telling you, I don't get along with this. And I'm going to cut it because I see the tip of the flower. So I'm trying to cut it so where the bottom part of the flower. And it will go right there. Okay. And then I think this will cover the, yeah, that will cover the whole thing. And what I'm going to use... I'm not going to use regular UV resin. I'm going to be using uh, that. Now that could be a mistake. But we will find out together. And 
I did get this, I can control how much I have and where I put this. And I don't want this on the edges. I just want it on the top. And just to let y'all know, this has got such a, an odor to it. I mean, nail polish does, okay? But, uh, it stinks. <clears throat> Gonna make sure that I turn it around the right way. I'm pushing on it. There's a lot of folds in this. I don't see how this is going to work, to be quite honest with you. But I don't know. We'll try it. We'll see. But I don't have high hopes for it. trying to get it off this thing <laughs> okay and I'm gonna put it up underneath the light and we're gonna find out what happens and while that one is doing it we'll go ahead and do this one now I have this I have that paper. I always thought the print would look really cool too. And see, look at that. Oh, I, I think, I don't know, I'm torn. No, I think we're going to do this. If it works, I want to see what this is going to look like. I always thought this would be so cool. Probably not on a heart though. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, see, I like this too. Oh, that's Marilyn Monroe. Oh, we got to do that on a heart. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is this big enough to go? Is it, is it wide enough? This is really hard to do. Yes, it is. This is really hard to do with gloves on, y'all. Okay, we just want to know if it's going to work. Everybody says it does. Maybe it does for everybody else. But you know what? Let's try that. Ooh, okay, yeah. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see how much we can control. Since that's got that in it. I 
and if I don't put it where the letters are, just around the letters, then it should stick, right? Okay. So we will try that. I'm sticking this up underneath there too. And we might as well do this one too, right? I don't know y'all, but we're fixing to find out. Here we go, the big reveal. I'm getting this off the the glass. There's a new blade and look at it already. I am so hard on uh, X-Acto knives. That's the reason why I bought that cheap one at the Dollar Tree. Okay. So, from what I have seen, You just take it off and it covers it. Oh, oh my. Oh, 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 looky there. I put a line there, but that's okay. I didn't, I didn't do it good right there. Why is that? Look, it worked though, y'all. Oh my, there's a line there. <laughs> there is a line there, but it worked. Oh my goodness. This is almost enough for me to do my happy dance. Almost. <laughs> oh. I'm telling you. I could 
could not get this silly thing to work. I have tried so many. You see my sharper. Sharper? You see my Sharpie? I am so uh, shocked. I am. I am very, very shocked. And yes, I'm sort of just drawing in I'm just drawing in designs that look similar so you don't notice because there's a piece missing here too since this is lace this is really oh my Looky there. It worked, y'all. Oh, goodness. Yeah. I can see me working on clay a whole lot more. I could never get this to work. And I don't know if you can see this, but the sparkle from the, uh, the clay... When it hits the light, oh, it's just, it's incredible. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Okay, now I'm really excited to see if it worked on the other pieces and if it did not stick to the love, where the love shows up. I think the key is to leaving it in there for the full, I left it in there for five, uh, five minutes. And I am going to go ahead and put a coat of top coat on this just to seal it you know you could color that in though oh my goodness nope 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 yeah you know me i have these alcohol markers and i'm not going to do it all okay i'm just going to highlight while we're waiting for the thing to go off, this is just so light and so easy to do. You don't even have to stay in the lines, y'all. Okay, and then maybe a little bit of green where the leaves are supposed to be, if I can find the green real fast. I don't know if you can see me doing this or not. I hope you can. Oh my. Oh, how this just opens up so many things. Do you see what that looks like now? I'm going to put this back up underneath to help dry the, uh, the alcohol marker before I put the top coat on. And we have these. Oh, please work.
Oh, that one's not working. Why is that one not working? Because it's not see-through. Oh, that, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. Well, it didn't work really good, and say so you can't tell. You can't tell where the, and it didn't stick everywhere. And I've got this overhang. But you get embroider uh, emery board. Yeah, this one's not good. This one's used and it's not. And this is not stuck down here either. Oh, it is stuck. Oh, it most definitely is stuck. You just. You can't make it out, but it's not on the... I'm not happy with that one, but it, it is working. Now, it did not stick right there, and I don't know why. And, and it's maybe because it wasn't, it didn't have enough resin on there. There's the piece. Okay. Okay, let's hope... Oh, that came off easy. Easy peasy. Oh, no. No, no, no. I want... I want that on there. No, I want that. Is that all black? If that's all black, I can fill that in. You see what I'm doing? I'm trying to make it match. See, it's still wet there. And that's what the problem is. It's still wet. It did not... It did not cure good. Where's the piece? I'm going to stick it back up underneath. And I'm going to try to, nope, it's this way. And I'm going to try to, because uh, it's still a little wet. Right there. We'll just see. Nope. Okay, I'm going to stick it up underneath there and say this one I'm going to go ahead and put the top coat on.
Okay. Oh, Ooh, that stuff stinks, stinks, stinks. This hand sanitizer. I think I just, it didn't want to get thrown away. <laughs> it kept hanging on there. I threw that heart away, and I hope I didn't ruin my brand new Sharpie. Because if I got resin on there, I'm trying to wipe it off. But I don't know if that's going to work. I'm real bad with doing that. That one is a no-go. But that one was sort of a bust anyway. I like the design though. Yeah, this was supposed to be a Timu haul and it turned into this. And I can't see coming back in three minutes uh, saying, I'm back, it's done. So we'll just sit here. I hope y'all leave comments and let me know if you have done this nail foil trick before, if you've had any issues with it, or or if this is the first time that you've seen it work too, I've seen many people use it and it worked great for them. I, I have just struggled. But I never used the UV resin and curing it with a foil on it. I have never done that until tonight. So I am happy to know that it does work. And that should be cured because it does not take long at all for yeah and it is and that is that is so pretty and that just that opens a, a whole new world of clay for me and i will down that and give it a really good finish and i will probably be sanding the edges down I don't want to throw this piece away. This is my very first piece of nail art foil. So, yeah, this is not going anywhere. It will be hanging up in my studio. <laughs> yeah. And let's see. I don't think this is going to work. But positive thoughts, Beth. Positive thoughts. Oh, and see what positive thoughts do. There it is. No. Part of it came off. Wow. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna add the top coat to this, but I'm not gonna make y'all wait for that. I'm gonna end the video and uh I'm going to say thumbs up, please, y'all, if, if you liked it. Uh, they're very important, and, and you've heard me say this hundreds of times, and I have almost 200 videos out on YouTube right now. I started doing uh, videos, I believe, six and a half months ago, and I have two, almost 200 videos out. Um, and I do appreciate each and every one of you without y'all there there's no way that I could do this and I know it so thumbs up that tells YouTube um, that you like me and it helps me get in the algorithm a lot more it tells me that I'm doing something right when I get the the thumbs up and your comments I love your comments uh, I would love to hear from you even if it's just hello you know, I would love, and I would love to know where everybody's at. You don't have to give me specific cities, but I would love to know what state you're in or what country you're from. Um, so if you get a chance, just leave me a little note uh, under the comments. Hit that notification bell so YouTube can uh, let you know when I've got a new one coming out. The share button, I would appreciate that. 
Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Oh, the Facebook group. I can't leave that out. It is growing. Uh, we're having lots of fun over there. I wish all my subscribers would be over in that Facebook group. It would be a blast to be able to talk to all of you and interchange photos and, and, and just, it, it would be an awesome thing. Uh, the link for that is in the description below. And with that, I'm going to say I hope y'all have a fantastic evening. This is Friday. I do plan on having a resin video out tomorrow, y'all. An epoxy resin. Yeah, I plan on doing epoxy resin down in my garage tomorrow. Tomorrow may be the day I do my happy dance. But you know what? I will do that happy dance when no one expects it. It's going to be a total surprise, but it is coming. I can tell you it is coming. All right, y'all. Thank you again so much, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.